Look, I gotta make this clear before we get into it. I am not advocating for it. I'm not pushing for it. I'm not saying, hey, the Baltimore Ravens should definitely do this for sure. But do not be surprised or alarmed or shocked or upset. You know what? I can't tell you how to feel. But don't be surprised if the Baltimore Ravens do this. And what am I referring to? Well, yesterday, a report came out that the Dallas Cowboys, they released veteran wide receiver Martavis Bryant per sources. Other teams are interested and expected to bring him in for a look. Now, if you've been watching the Baltimore Ravens for a while, you remember the Martavis Bryant of old because that boy could play some football. That You just send him on a go route, just say, hey, Ben Roethlisberger, go get, go, get, go get it, Martavis Bryant. He just throw that ball up in the air on the, on the deep shots, and that was it. That was all she wrote. And he, of course, he burned the Ravens plenty of times. I mean, the Steelers' great wide receivers have, like Antonio Brown, Heinz Ward, and whatnot. But Martavis Bryant, he had his little piece of the pie, too. Not saying he was a great Steelers wide receiver, but he did plenty of damage to the Baltimore Ravens back in his day. But with him, he just kept on getting suspended over and over and over again till finally he got banned from the league. It wasn't a perma ban, but he got banned from the league for a while. Then he uh, requested to be reinstated, got reinstated. Uh, and then he signed with the Raiders, I think. He signed with the Cowboys, and they released him. Uh, so now he is a free agent. And the reason why I would say the Ravens would do this is because this is stuff that they've done. Like, I had to write down a couple of names so I ain't forget. <laughs> but it, it was like when you look at the names, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense. Because some of y'all may think, oh, Martavius Bryant, he's washed. Martavius Bryant, he's done. Martavius Bryant, man, he ain't going to be good no more. Did you think the same thing about Deshaun Jackson when the Baltimore Ravens signed him a couple years ago? I'm sure you did because he was doing podcasts. He was on I Am Athlete doing podcasts, and he said something about the Ravens, and the Ravens said, oh, he's interested. You know what? Come through, Deshaun Jackson. And he, of course, was well way out of his prime. You look even a year or two before that, Dez Bryant. Dez Bryant, they brought in Dez Bryant, and they signed him. He was active, and I remember being excited about it, but oh, it was rough. But Dez Bryant, yeah. Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins was another one where it's crazy because he wasn't old or anything like that, but Sammy Watkins, he was just, his body was damaged. And bringing him in was so nice that they did it twice. Because they signed him as a free agent in, what was that, 2021, I think. And then he left. I think he went to the Packers for a little bit, got cut. And then Ravens brought him back again. Like the year after or two years after they initially brought him in. So Sammy Watkins was another one. Now, last year, this one, a little different, but still, Odell Beckham Jr. Now, that, that is a little different. That ain't like the Deshaun Jacksons and the Dez Bryans, or, but Odell Beckham Jr., obviously, way past his prime, but the Baltimore Ravens brought him. But, again, that's, that's a different story. Um, but those have been the guys under Lamar Jackson that they have brought in. So this is recent stuff. So that, that's why I feel like with Martavis Bryant that I would not be surprised if the Baltimore Ravens are like, you know what, even if it's just for a look, even if it's just for a visit, I ain't saying that they will sign him or anything like that, but I am. I will not be surprised at all if the Baltimore Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens that we know, even though Eric DaCosta seemed like he's been slowly been changing their approach at wide receiver a little bit, but I would not be surprised if the Baltimore Ravens that we know brought in Martavis Bryant. Now, it's funny because when I first saw the report, the, the first thing that I thought of, and I, I, I quote tweeted it too, I thought of Jerry Sandusky when he introduces the Baltimore Ravens when they're coming out on the field. Where he says, here comes the Ravens. That's the first thing that popped in my mind. Because I'm like, oh, that is just so them. And then you think about this, too. Remember when um, they drafted or they were going to draft Lamar Jackson? What quarterback did they sign? They signed uh, RG3. They signed Robert Griffin. And a lot of us was like, oh, they signing Robert Griffin. What's, what's that for? What's the point of signing him? Well, well, they were, they were trying to get ready to get Lamar Jackson and get somebody that could sort of give him some pointers, give him some tips on how to be a much better version of him. Uh, and Lamar Jackson definitely did that. He was much better, not a version of RG3, but he's, he's just the best Lamar Jackson. Um, but 
the a lot of teams will do this, and the Baltimore Ravens will do this too, to where they'll bring in a player just to sort of help mentor another player that of the same caliber, of the same type. And you think about the biggest comp on the Baltimore Ravens roster right now. Who who will be the biggest comp to Martavis Bryant? Tez Walker. Tez Walker. And there's been a lot of back and forth debate on what kind of impact Tez Walker will have for these Baltimore Ravens. And that's to be determined. We'll see uh, once training camp starts and then the preseason and then the regular season starts. But that could be something that they may do it for. That could be their reasoning. So it's just, one of the, again, I'm not advocating for it, but I'm just saying based off of these Baltimore Ravens, who we know they are, it wouldn't be a shocker if they did that because this is what they do. And they're always willing to give somebody a shot, always willing to just give a little look because they're always exploring all these different avenues and stuff and all these different players and whatnot, uh, whether it's under Lamar Jackson or under Joe Flacco too. And, hey, with Joe Flacco, some of them did work out. We had Mike Wallace in for that. Yeah, okay, that, that was straight. We had Steve Smith Sr. in for them three years, and, and the first year was fire. Um, the second and third year, he got hurt a lot, but he's still a, a big contributor. Um, there was also Michael Crabtree. He was definitely on the back end of his career. Uh, and the first year, he was solid, and he was with Lamar, and he's okay, and it just – there was Derek Mason, though. Derek Mason, he was definitely on the back end of his career, and that worked out like crazy. Wish it would have worked out in the Super Bowl, too, but – that worked out too. But then there were guys like TJ Hushman Zada. He was way on the back end of his career. Uh, so it's, you just, you, you don't know what you're going to get. Um, but again, a move like this is very, very Baltimore Raven esque. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if it does happen. But like I said, I'm not saying that I want it to go down. I'm not saying that I, hey, Ravens, y'all need to do this. But I'm saying this is something that the Ravens typically do. Now, I already know what the comment section is going to look like in this video. And I appreciate y'all sharing y'all comments. But let me tell you what the comment section looked like when I quote tweeted it. And all I said was, here come the Ravens. I ain't say I want them to do it. I ain't say they need to do it. All I said was, here come the Ravens. These were the replies. Somebody just said, nope, nope. They did a gift of somebody saying, nope. Uh, my guy Iceberg Slim said, we good. Keep it clean. We good with the crying emojis. My guy, the Daily Raven said, I hope not. Uh, Ravens Casper, he said, are you serious? Uh, and my guy Kendall today, he said, yeah, I would be mad if they made this move. <laughs> Paul, he said, why? Uh, my guy's story's finished. He said, sorry, they're closed at the moment. Dana the Great put the gift of Michael Scott saying, no, 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 no. Uh, Demetrius Brown, he just put LOL. He just laughing at it. Uh, Corey Biggins say, please, no. My guy Slick Forward, no, put laughing emojis. My guy Red, he said, I highly doubt it. Nick Polis, he said, please, God, no. LOL. So people weren't feeling it. They, 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 the consensus amongst Ravens fans and team keep it clean were like, no, Ravens, please don't do this. But again, it may not be our choice.